We doing some crock pot cooking today. Some crock pot cooking today. Stay tuned for some crock pot cooking today. Hey, yeah. YouTube fam, like I stated earlier, we are doing some crock pot cooking today. Let's get started on our chicken. Now, we go season these real nice and easy peasy. We going in with my seasoning. I put that on everything all purpose seasoning right here. That's all you need. Link is in the description below. Today, you guys, what should we call this? What should we call this dish? We go call this like a one pot Thanksgiving dish now listen it's gonna be chicken and dressing and you making it all in your crock pot one pot shop top one shot one pot y'all get it anyways with this dish right hold on let me get this open with this dish y'all you can use whatever meat you want so tradition I cannot talk today. Traditionally, you will want to pair turkey with dressing, right? But I want to pair some chicken with it today. I know what turkey and dressing tastes like. You know what I'm saying? Let's do some chicken. Um, I think this will also be good with pork chops. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm saying. If you do whatever meat you want. Do whatever meat you would like to do. But we are having chicken and dressing today. And I think I'm going to pair it with some macaroni and cheese. A little bit of fried cabbage. Probably some cornbread. So I just, I season this one side. We're going to season the other side too. Okay. Real easy. Real easy. And uh, use whatever seasoning you want. Like I said, I'm using my all-purpose seasoning because... It has 14 different herbs and spices in here. It's an all-purpose. This is all I need. This is all I need. So, boom. Coat that nice and well. There you go. Chicken is nice and seasoned. So, let me wash my hands real quick, you guys. Then, we are going to get on this easy peasy broth so let me get this out the way real quick and let me bring this beautiful cooking vessel up close for you guys that's my crock pot right there what we gonna start with chicken broth am I going to measure hex no I'm just gonna pour so I'm doing five nice little medium sized chicken breasts. So I'm thinking I'm gonna stop right. Cause I know that chicken is gonna make its own juice also. Okay, so probably about right there you guys, okay? Now, that was maybe about, if I had to guess, maybe two cups maybe two cups two and a half maybe so now add it to this chicken broth okay we are going in with some cream of chicken condensed soup you guys flavor on top of flavor on top of flavor flavor go in with one can now i don't know because like I said, y'all, half of the stuff that I be doing for y'all, it ain't planned out. I'm just cooking for my family. I'm chilling. So as of right now, I don't know if I want to do two cans or one can. Like I said, I eyeball everything. So let me just stir that up. It's going to look crazy. It's going to look crazy, y'all. It's, it's condensed. You know what I'm saying? It's going to look crazy. You got to get some heat on it, some meat on it. It's going to look a little weird. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. So, boom. I just want to try to dissolve this as much as I can. If it does not dissolve all the way, I swear to goodness, it don't make no difference. I promise you it don't. Okay. 
So I think I want to use two cans. Yes, I think we are going in with two cans. Throw that out. Boom. Two cans of uh, of condensed. Oh yeah. This gonna be good. Okay. Uh-huh. Let me just try to con try to dissolve this. A little bit because like I said it's not that serious it's all go cook together it's go cook down it's a it's gonna turn into a creamy D light okay so just trying to get that nice and you know what I'm saying broken up a little bit so what's next y'all now you can freestyle this part too. What I'm going to add in is some sliced sweet onion just for added flavor. If you want to add celery, if you want to do scallions, if you want to add carrots, your family, your home, your dish, your kitchen. You feel me? So, I think what I'm going to go in with is just a little bit of onion. Just a little bit of white onion. So this is a half of a sliced white onion. If you are, uh, if you want to go this route with just the onion and you want to dice it, dice it, dice it, bro. You can dice it. It's yours. Dice it. So boom, right? So we right here with it. Now, y'all, what I think I want to add to this before we dump in our chicken is some black. Hey, Javi, um, the seasonings that I need right away always be hiding in the back of the cabinet. So I just want to go in with some black pepper, y'all. Y'all know I love to see pepper in my food. I love to see that pepper in my food. So boom, right? We right here with it. Woo! About to make me sneeze. We right here with it, right? So we got this beautiful chicken broth, right? Beautiful chicken broth condensed cream of chicken packed with flavor we got some sweet white onion we got some black pepper i mean we it's it's it's, it's about to be crazy now let's go over here and get our chicken you guys okay now we got our chicken right here and what we are going to do is just lay this right in the crock pot yeah you seasoned it don't worry about your seasoning coming off and all that stuff Everything is about to cook together. Yeah, you could have kept the chicken bare and seasoned your broth. Do whatever you want to do. You know what I'm saying? But my seasoning is so bomb, it ain't going to come off. Look at that. Still on. Let me stop showing out because it definitely, it definitely was coming off. Let me stop showing out. <laughs> it was definitely coming off. I'm just going to keep it real. But... No, it look like it's staying on there. Let me let that go. Okay, so y'all, listen, it smells good already. So let's recap, y'all. Let's recap. Y'all know I like to recap. So we got our beautiful seasoned chicken breast in there, right? Now, mind you, or remind you, you can use pork chops. You can use turkey, boneless turkey breasts. You know, you could go the chicken route. You could do like a, if you feel like picking out all them bones at the end, you could even do um, a whole chicken. That's just going to be so much flavor. If you do like a whole chicken, so much flavor. But if you want to be quick, easy, use something boneless. So we got our boneless chicken breast in there. We got our ch uh, sliced sweet onion, right? We got our condensed cream of chicken um, soup right we got our chicken broth and if you do not have chicken broth you can always use the um water with the bouillon cubes you know what i'm saying so now y'all this is it this is it for now because at the i'm not gonna add in my um dry stuffing mix until my chicken is midway through okay um i Call have seen granny some, excuse somebody calling here 
my bad okay sorry y'all so I have seen some people add in their dry stuffing mix right now and just cook it all together on low for four hours um i kind of want to wait to the end because it's not going to take long for my dry stuff and mix and here you go right here it's just dry stuff and mix um i usually take my box things out you guys and put them in plastic containers so this is just a mixture of like you know the dry stuff and mix that comes in a bag and is seasoned with like herb you know stuff like that or what what you could also use too and i think they're just like a buck is a stovetop stuffing you want to try to revamp and redo something with that stovetop stuffing this would be a bomb recipe for it too y'all so i'm gonna add my dry stuffing mix at the end like i said because it's nothing but bread okay it doesn't need to really be cooked that long so let's get this going we go check on this two hours in yeah you guys because i'm gonna let this go for four hours right low and slow low and slow for four hours or let me see you can go low and slow for four hours or high for about two i'm gonna see because let me see it's about one o'clock here i want to try to eat dinner <coughs> excuse me i want to try to eat dinner at least by six so uh you know what let's go i'm putting mine on high y'all i'm putting mine on high and then i'm gonna come back and check with y'all to see what it's looking like after these two hours so two hours on high stay tuned okay youtube fam so it has been about just about two hours okay so just about two hours so i'm going to open up the lid with you guys for the first time in two hours let's see what is hidden for y'all it's probably gonna be real steamy y'all hold on Oh, it smells so good and once we add that dry dressing mix in there look at this let's stir it up and see let's see looking real good look at that look at that chicken breast is about done y'all so i think i'm gonna look at that and it's kind of even thickened up by itself come on and focus y'all i hate when that ugh, it's kind of thick y'all but we go thicken it up even more so you guys oh my god i cannot wait to eat this so it is smelling good it is looking good you guys i'm gonna let it go for another probably like another 20 minutes y'all okay and then we're gonna go to step two so stay tuned okay youtube fam this is where we're at so i let that chicken go for like another 20 minutes and here is the chicken right here so what i'm about to do is just take these tongs and this fork and just finish shredding it up you guys i think i'm just gonna I don't know medium small large pieces I don't know probably just medium shreds it don't really matter I don't think it's really a wrong way to do this dish so here is the beautiful um chicken broth right here hold on y'all here's the beautiful chicken broth right here with the hold up get y'all a better view okay now let's see okay y'all so here is the beautiful broth right here and it's semi thick but it's not as thick as i would like it y'all it's not as thick as i would like it so what i'm going to do is add in some of this um white gravy creole mix okay and that's just gonna thicken it up i'm just gonna add all you do is just sprinkle just sprinkle a little bit in there and that's gonna thicken it up and um what i'm also gonna do and i'll come back and show you guys is of course add in our dry stuffing mix so listen let's get into it i don't want to take up no more of y'all day hold on all right my youtube fam this is what we looking like we done we at the finish line y'all see it, my chicken nice and shredded up seasoned y'all this is so good just like this by itself now let's take it up another level 
So as you can see, my chicken is nice and seasoned and nice and pretty looking. So what we are about to do now is add in our dry stuffing mix. Okay, so remember, this stuff swells up crazy. Once it gets soaked all up in there, it's going to get really thick, y'all. So just be easy. I, you know I do not do measurements. I go by eye. I stop when the ancestors tell me, honey. So just be mindful. You know, just be really mindful because this is just going to really blow up, y'all. So it's gonna blow up so okay so we got that see how those are getting how it's getting big already so let's add a little bit more so y'all what I did too I removed um, some of my broth and we could just put that aside and save that for a dish later on and I also added a little bit of gravy see that's getting thick already and all and see this is bread so this is like basically done literally we are gonna let this go for another so all together y'all listen it's about a four hour dish to make okay depending on what kind of meat or what size meat you want to use it's about full it's about four hours okay um but as far as my pot here we are at the finish line Okay, we are at the finish line. You see how those swelled up? You see how it swelled up, y'all? That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, how it swelled up like that. So just be careful. And so now we are going to keep this on high. We are going to let it go for, I would say, I don't know, until I feel like it looked good enough to serve to my family. So I'm going to let y'all know. Excuse me. I'm going to let y'all know how much longer it took okay and I'm gonna show y'all what it's hitting for when everything is said and done cuz I know y'all like if y'all if you don't get to the point uh, Tish get to the point so y'all this is what it's looking like before the last final cook and I'll show you guys what it's looking like after all right my YouTube fam you guys this is the finished result we already been digging in it and this is what I was talking about too guys as it cools off you see how it just gets nice and thick so let me just dig up a look at that creamy goodness creamy goodness creamy Y'all, this is packed with so much flavor. I think I'm definitely going to have to try it with turkey. I'm definitely trying it with pork chops. This is so freaking bomb. And if you want to give it like um, a little bit more of a Thanksgiving type flavor, add you a little sage in there or and a little poultry seasoning and you'll be good to go. But this is the finished results, guys. And as always, I thank you guys so much for tuning in. I cannot wait to see you in the next video. Everybody stay safe and stay blessed. Mwah.